Hill, Laura, is that true? Yes, it is, Sophie. Isn't it ironic that now that the Olympics have closed, the final ceremony is over and the weather's set to turn? Yes, we've got very grey skies behind me at the moment. There is a band of rain sweeping in from the west. A real contrast in temperatures. Yesterday we had temperatures up to 27 degrees across the board, high teens, low 20s. Today a dip of some 7 degrees for some areas, but you'll notice in Belfast actually it will be a little bit warmer today. Now at the moment the radar shows it's been raining through Northern Ireland, Western Scotland, Wales and South West England. Now that's heading its way eastwards. So for central and eastern areas, if it's dry and bright where you are, that's not set to last. It's set to turn increasingly grey without breaks of rain. Now the rain is heaviest through Western Scotland through the rest of the afternoon, fragmenting as it moves its way through England and Wales. Worth pointing out for southwest England and Wales, yes, the sunshine will return for you in the coming hours, but then showers will develop some of those heavy Northern Ireland. Yes, you'll also see some sunshine this afternoon, but watch out for showers. They are likely to be heavy with the risk of the odd rumble of thunder. Fairly grey, fairly damp for much of the day across much of Scotland, cooler than it was yesterday with those outbreaks of rain. And for northern England, for the Midlands, expect greyer skies to lurk as we head through the coming hours with some outbreaks of rain. I think in the far east of England, for Norfolk, Suffolk, maybe for Kent, sticking with the driest, brightest weather for longest, and here, the best of the temperatures as well. So through this evening and overnight tonight, that rain band will edge its way eastwards. The last of the showers will fade away, but it will be a mild night. 16, 17 degrees across the board with some mist and fog patches developing as well. Tomorrow's weather is looking very different from today's weather. Tomorrow is a story of sunshine and showers. We'll see the sunshine first of all, then the showers will develop through the day. Fairly widespread, heavy and certainly thundery, but still in the sunshine. Temperatures high teens, low 20s, still feeling fairly humid. The weather, though, really takes a downhill turn as we head through to Wednesday. If we look at our Atlantic pressure chart, a deep area of low pressure driving in from the west. The isobars will come closer together. That means it will turn windier, and then the rain will move in as well. So by Wednesday, it's set to turn very wet, very windy. Gales around southwestern areas, gales in the north as well. Outbreaks of rain could be heavy. We could see an inch or more. And as we head towards the weekend, things remain very unsettled Sophie. Typical. Laura, thank you very much. Hello there and a very good afternoon to you. Well, what a difference a day makes with the weather. Yesterday we had dry, warm, sunny conditions. Today it's looking fairly cloudy and for some of us wet as well. The radar shows have had rain sweeping in from the west. It's now tending to peter out and for many it's set to be pretty cloudy for the rest of the day with rain that could well be heavy at times. Now most of the rain is pushing through Scotland at the moment, northern England, through southern counties of England. From the west, a change as we head through the day as we see the return of some sunshine. Temperatures today will be up to high teens, low 20s where the sunshine comes out. But from the west, watch out for those showers. They could be heavy. And showers is definitely the name of the game for tomorrow. Sunshine, yes, but watch out for those downpours. They could be heavy and thundery, but still in the sunshine. Temperatures will be low 20s. Watch out, there's more rain for Wednesday. The weather does tonight, do we? <laughs> I'm sure many people know, no, don't now, George, but actually, ironically, now the Olympics are over, the weather has turned to become actually really quite unsettled. Grey skies behind me at the moment. There's been cloud and rain in the forecast today. Some of that rain was heavy across the west. It's now marching its way eastwards. And for many of us this evening, we lose the beautiful sunshine we had this weekend and we stick with very cloudy skies. Rain across the northeast of England, the northeast of Scotland, showers pushing through southeast England and some around western coasts of England and Wales. But for many tonight, it's the mild conditions we'll notice. Temperatures no lower than 16 or 17 degrees. We start with cloudy skies first thing tomorrow, but the topsy-turvy week of weather will continue because tomorrow is that of sunshine and showers. Showers tomorrow could be heavy. I think for southwest England and Wales, we start with bright skies. Any showers here, hit and miss, mostly they will be light. But for Northern Ireland and for Scotland, we will start the day with heavy showers and they're likely to continue throughout much of the day. Certainly the risk of the odd rumble of thunder 
For northeastern areas of Scotland, we'll start with today's weather front, cloudy and wet. That will clear away to the north and the skies should actually start to brighten. For northern England and the Midlands, after a fine start, expect through the afternoon to pick up a little bit of cloud, a few scattered showers. For the southeast of England, there's always a threat of showers on and off through the day, but equally in between some spells of sunshine. So as we head into the middle of the week, this deep area of low pressure pulls up from the southwest, gathering some quite warm, moist air with it. So it looks as though by Wednesday, some very wet, some very windy weather arrives. Very unseasonable weather by Wednesday. And after a day of showers tomorrow and a day of rain on Wednesday, showers return come Thursday. All right, Laura, thanks very much. Thank